That is never a good day. Hey everyone, welcome back. So we got some stuff on auction this week through Big Iron on Wednesday. Uh, today is Friday. So my dad's heading west to go pick up a flail shredder. We're gonna head east and pick up a buffalo hiller. And hopefully all goes smooth. We can get back here about noon and get her unloaded. Okay, so we got everything uh, chained up and we made it about 20 miles. Uh, we're gonna just go make sure all of our chains are tight and then carry on home. Hanging over a little bit. Here she is. We got, we added the bar. We put the bar in so that way the wing doesn't bounce. We got our red flag on the back. The trailer's not quite long enough for what we need. Well, back to the road we go. Okay, so Dad just got back here. Uh, he went and get the got the shredder with the tractor because it really wasn't that far of a drive. Uh, really, about an hour is all. So uh, he came back. And as soon as he crossed the highway about a half mile before our shop, he heard a pop and well, both tires on the door side of the tractor, one of them was, must have been flat and then the other one blew out. So we had to unhook it for now. Uh, tire guy will probably be here later today and get figure out if we can get by with one of them or if we have to end up buying both of them so but here it is so it's a it's a rot it's a rhino rc 25 so it's 25 foot which we're 36 inch rows so that's an eight row for us uh for you people who don't know uh a shredder or flail shredder stock chopper uh what it is is you go through the field after you harvest and it leaves you with it depends how high you pick the corn but like a foot or so uh stocks so we'll go back through in the middle of winter once the ground freezes and we have nothing else to do and the shredder will go through and it spins and it has a bunch of knives underneath and it will spin fast and it'll chop the stocks uh so we'll chop them down to about three inches or so above the dirt. And then when we go through and we rip ball, everything just, it works smoother. It gets rid of a lot of trash too. Uh, you know, it finds it up better. So we really like shredding. I know a lot of people don't shred, but uh, we like it. So like I said, we got another one, but we cover enough acres. That'd be nice to have another, a second one. So I bought this one because it was on Wednesday sale and thought it went for a pretty good price. So now we'll have two and be able to cover twice as many acres. So that'll be kind of nice. So hopefully it's supposed to freeze up next week or after the first of the year and we'll get out and test it out. Maybe go through everything, figure out what needs fixed and what needs adjusted. It's not good at all. You can see that there's some gashes in the sidewall there. So I'm not sure what exactly happened. Not good though. Hey, good morning everyone. Uh, so last night or yesterday is when we went to the auctions to pick up everything we bought. Last night we ended up working, uh, we're working on the shredder here, and uh, we ended up doing all kinds of service into it. We greased it, aired up all the tires, uh, checked all the knives. So basically, kind of went through it. Um, 
I guess the next thing we're gonna do is it's froze out this morning, so we're gonna go out and try a couple passes through the field just to see if everything works like it's supposed to. Um, one of the belts was destroyed on here, so we put a new belt on that we had laying in the shop and uh, got everything tightened, so hopefully everything works. But let's head out and uh, give her a shot. Okay, so we're getting going here. Uh, it's actually working really well. We did about a round and a half so far. But uh, from what we can tell, we got the height and everything set, and yeah, it's working out super, super good. some manure spread on it we got tons built up so we're hoping to do that whenever the ground does freeze uh, probably the first of the year maybe in January we'll get a time so we want to get these 30 acres done here first so we can get that done so we're just gonna push through it go a little slower in the mud holes but other than that we should be all right okay so do a little comparison here's your normal stocks as you can see compared to my hand they're pretty tall and then this is what it does to them it is it cuts them all the way down to get rid of that extra trash and it grinds it all up For this week's video uh, i hope everybody has a merry christmas and we'll catch you next week thanks for watching